Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Thursday, February the 24th, 2011. Well, a continuation of the trend to the downside today and we have a candle that's made a lower high and a lower low. Unfortunately for the bears though, they haven't supported this trend to the downside and there is a possibility that the trend might change back to the upside. We actually have a very small body on this candle. If we look at the last three candles, the size of the bodies has been getting smaller and smaller as the market was trending down. That's a worrying side for continuation of this trend and increases the uh, probability of this trend terminating in the first time frame. Now, uh, this is very similar to a, uh, a hammer pattern and uh, that's where we have a uh, small uh, body and a long shadow on the bottom and that long shadow represents upside price rejection so as the market was trading down towards 1300 and just below the buyers came in quite strongly and bought the market back up the sellers have made a very small amount of net bearish progress on the day between the open and the close and that doesn't support the as we've said before the trend to the downside now the market is trading up above the cloud so we has, have an overall positive bias and the market is also trading uh, uh, just at the Kijinsen, which means that the market is fairly neutral in the um, medium term time frame. And uh, the market is still bearish in the fast term time frame by trading down below the Tenkan Sen. Now, significantly, the market's been trading below the Tenkan Sen now for three days, uh, which could be important to this market. The market could rally and find resistance up there. We do need to watch that. And if we look back, it's been some time since uh, we've seen that happen. Uh, there's only one occasion here where the market closed twice down uh, just below there. So we do need to watch that. Um, but uh, we do need to watch uh, this uh, the kitchen sand. If the market uh, starts uh, trending a little bit lower than there, then that could be significant for this market. But what I'd like to see is a bearish close before I consider that we are fairly bearish in that medium-term time frame. At the moment, as I've said, we're close to that uh, tank and cents and the market's fairly neutral in the medium term. The Tenkan Sen had turned flat and we highlighted that uh, a few days ago and the market tends to be attracted back towards the Tenkan Sen and that's exactly what happened over the last few days there. So um, obviously this 1300 is a big number for the market. We do need to watch that level and certainly now down to the low of the current candle at uh, uh, 1294. Uh, we do need to watch that for a potential lower high and lower low. But also watch the high of the current candle around 1310 for a potential change of trend to the upside. Uh, we've got uh, decent resistance at 13.13, then up at uh, the Tenkan Sen at 13.19, and then at the swing high up around 13.40s, but uh, the market won't trade up there uh, in all of a sudden. A little bit of resistance to take out before we trade up to those areas. So uh, they're the important areas to watch. And now we'll have take a quick look at the uh, hourly charts. Right, so here we have the hourly chart for the S&P 500 and we can see at the opening of trading the market uh, rallied back up to this area of resistance around 13, 12 and a half, 13, 13 and tested that and sold off. We had a series of red body candles and the final one becoming quite a large red body candle and it was testing the bottom of this area that we defined as an area of potential support. So we highlighted that quite well, this large zone of uh, support for this market. Um, the, the market then in the second last hour of trading bounced off that uh, support area in a very solid way with a very large green body candle denoting uh, a um, large amount of um, uh, commitment from the uh, bulls and them taking control of the market. In the final hour of trading, however, we did see the market find some resistance at the top of that area of uh, resistance. We can see the shadows in this region as the market tested up to this resistance around roughly 13.13 and then to the extent down to around 13.09. So that will be a big area for this market in the opening hours of trading tomorrow morning. Uh, if the market can successfully uh, trade up above there with a bullish candle, then it's likely that we'll see the market test up around the Kijun Sen, which is uh, roughly around 13.19. And uh, perhaps if we can take that out, uh, the market may test up around the bottom of the cloud. Might not do that all in one day, could be over a few days if we have some bullishness coming back into the market. Just looking, however, at the uh, trend in the second time frame, we have a series of lower peaks and lower troughs now in this market. So a confirmed 
downtrend in the second time frame, which is quite important. But we're retracing part of that uh, downtrend in the first time frame with the series of higher highs and higher lows. So we could see this market make an, uh, an, an, an intermediate swing high here and trade back down and test down around these levels around 12.95 again. Now, in issue market charts terms, the market is trading down below the cloud, so we do have an overall negative bias to this market. And the market's also trading down below the kitchen scene, and that tells us that we're uh, quite bearish in the medium-term time frame. The kitchen scene is pointing flat, and we can see that the market is being tracked back towards there. Now, the market does look a little bit overextended down here, a fair way away from the cloud and a fair way away from the kitchen scene, so we could see the market rally up to around this area. Uh, the market is uh, trading up above the Tenkan Sen, and that tells us that the market is bullish in the fast term time frame. Not terribly bullish, it's not a long way up above there, but there is uh, bullishness there, and it's a lot different than we've seen for quite some period of time for the last few days. So it's been up around, uh, this trading up around here since we last saw the market trading up above the Tenkan Sen. So it could be a change of character coming up in the market. Uh, very important, however, to watch the area up to around 13.13. If we see bullishness, as I've said, we could see the market appreciate fairly rapidly up to 13.20. Uh, if not, then we should watch for a potential change of trend back to the downside to test 12.95.